didn't know what to expect because like I said in high school I had like more support people um people and like teachers checking on me every now and then like hey are you on track to graduate this and that. My role here at Chimecota Community College is uh, as an academic advisor so obviously picking out classes uh, going over questions about transcripts and registration and I also like to work with students to try to get them involved with different community service things different ways to volunteer. He helped me in believing in myself like knowing that I am capable to achieve things on my own without relying too much on others. It's okay to ask for help if needed, but if you know you can do it, like go for it. One thing that I noticed is that, that, that your confidence level grew. Um, another thing that I noticed is that you're a lot more sure of your future. Uh, I've noticed that you are a lot more involved with your community. After I graduate from Chemeketa, my future plans is to attend Pacific University and obtain my teaching license and ASOL endorsement. I want to be a bilingual education teacher and here in Woodburn. You being my role model and my guide has helped me graduate. I think without you being there, I wouldn't have like made it. So thank you. Thank you for that. I was nervous. Um, beginning college because I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do but I knew I wanted to go to college and so I knew I wanted to continue my Spanish um, so I was just kind of nervous but excited to continue my journey even though I did, wasn't quite sure where it was going to go. So I'm a counselor and a faculty member here at the college. She was um, nervous in the sense that she didn't really know what career path Blanca's advised me in many different areas of my student career, whether it was just like personal um, or academically. Staying true to yourself and what you want to do as your career it can be a challenge, but I certainly saw that she discovered what her passion was and I got to see that during the times that she traveled to, um, to Nicaragua with the service learning projects. I would have never thought I would go to another country, especially um, a year or two out of high school. Blanca is actually the one who told me about the humanities class at our first meeting. The opportunity to go to Nicaragua and experience another culture actually led me to my career change um, and led me to what I actually want to do with my life. I am looking into either international development or public health. You know, we fought spiders of Nicaragua together and woke up at six o'clock in the morning and traveled across the country. Twice. Uh, twice. <laughs> but you've been there through it all and like honestly without you I would have never thought I'd be here where I am today. And so, thank you. Um, I first met Adam through a friend. Uh, she saw something in me and she's like, hey, you, you want to join ASC? And I didn't know what it was and she took me to the room and I met Adam there. So I serve as student leadership and civic engagement coordinator, which means that I work with our student government, which is the Associated Students of Chemeketa. In ASC, I learned to be confident and have leadership. He helped me with being confident uh, and being better than who I was the day before. When he first started with us and I first started helping him you know, do academic planning, I don't think he necessarily believed in himself that he could be successful in a program like the medical assistant program. I had to learn English when I was seven years old. And that has been the toughest thing that has stuck uh, with me. It's easy to not go to school, but it's much harder to succeed in life. It's much harder if you try to work your way up, um, working a job that works pays minimum. Now I'm going to graduate college and now I'm going to um, be a, a medical assistant and now I have a scholarship, the Lexito. It just keeps going and I, I, I keep going and I keep striving for more and wanting more. If it wasn't for you who hired me, I wouldn't be able to have my scholarship now. So it's just those little steps in life that you don't really pay attention to that matter at the end. And I'm just really grateful for that.